Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Ivy and I'm Sharon. Today, we're diving head first into a fascinating world that's changing how we interact with technology. We're talking about immersive mediums. Immersive mediums. Sounds sophisticated, right? But hang tight cuz we are about to make all of this crystal clear for you. Imagine stepping into a game or a movie instead of just watching it. Immersive media pulls you in a world where every detail captivates your senses. Exactly, Ivy. It's all about making you feel like you're a part of the digital world. Today we're going to be talking about three main topics. First is the augmented reality or AR. Second is virtual reality or VR, and then there is extended reality or XR. Now, Sharon, I think everyone must be wondering what on earth is augmented reality. So, can you explain them a bit? Well, it's like adding a digital layer onto the real world. Ever play Pokemon Go and tried catching that elusive Pikachu in your backyard? That's actually AR for you. Then there is virtual reality or VR. This one takes you completely into a digital world. If you have ever worn those big goggles and head-mounted displays, well, that's VR for you. HMDs or head-mounted displays are a display device worn on the head as a part of a helmet that has a small display optic in front of one eye called the monocular HMD or both eyes called the binocular HMD. An HMD has many uses in gaming, aviation, engineering, medicine, among others. Few of the popular HMD devices in the market are the Oculus, HTC Vive, and now the recently launched Apple Vision Pro. And extended reality or XR is a bit of both. It blends the real world with digital elements, making them interact with each other in reality. It's the intersection where VR meets AR. Don't worry if you can't get hang of these terms. We will tell you more about it in a while. So let's talk about how all of this comes to life. Imagine three circles: one for sight, one for sound, and one for intuitive movements and feedback. Now, when these three circles intersect, that's where the magic happens. You get a fully immersive experience that can trick your senses into thinking that you're actually in a real world. And it's not just for fun and games. Immersive mediums are now currently being used for education, real estate, healthcare, and a lot of other industries. It's a whole new way to learn, explore and experience. But how does all of this work? Well, there are a bunch of smart people and companies that make the hardware, software and content that makes immersive media possible. In addition to the folks above, users who are tech savvy out there in the immersive mediums in the metaverses are actually the people who adapt to this tech first. Now if you'd like to connect with these kind of people as well, just like we do, head over to the Discord server and you can find the link in the description below now that you have a basic understanding of immersive media let's dive into the ecosystem that makes it all possible right ivy the immersive media ecosystem is a huge interconnected world with six key players driving its growth so let's start with the first one the hardware producers Hardware producers are the ones creating the physical devices we use to step into these digital worlds whether it's the smartphones we use for AR or headsets for VR they are making it all happen Advances in this area mean AR can now be mass adopted thanks to smartphones while VR and XR have become more immersive with devices like the Oculus and the Apple Vision Pro it's all about bringing high quality immersive experiences right to your fingertips Next up technology and platform developers. These are the folks developing the tools and platforms that enable the creation of immersive content. From mobile OS developers to standalone tool creators like Unity or Unreal, they're pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The work has been crucial in mainstreaming AR and VR, focusing on user experiences over just hardware performance. This means better and more accessible immersive experiences for everyone. Moving on, we have application developers. They are building the apps and software that bring immersive media to life, from gaming to education and even in enterprise use cases. Yes, the AR apps are becoming popular because they're easy to use, and there are more VR experiences now that aren't just for games. It's like we're making a brand new world of apps for all sorts of things. Then we have the content creators, the ones behind the scene making the videos. sounds pictures and animations that draw us in their work is what makes us want to keep exploring these virtual worlds the focus now is on creating content that's not just good to watch but rich in quality and meaning especially with vr in the entertainment world 
it's more about living the story than just seeing it next are the system integrators who are the unsung heroes you might have heard of companies who provide metaverse as a service they play a vital role in integrating all these elements to deliver complex solutions they work closely with hardware and software to roll out immersive media applications on a large scale indeed their importance has skyrocketed as more companies turn to immersive media for training development and beyond they are the ones ensuring that all of these advanced technologies work in harmony to deliver a flawless experience last but definitely not the least there is you the users you are the reason this ecosystem exists and continues to grow your engagement and feedback drives innovation and adoption across the board and as this ecosystem evolves you'll see even more amazing developments more immersive experiences more applications and even more ways of immersive media that will become an integral part of our lives and it's evolving fast with new advancements we are seeing better graphics realistic experiences and even more ways to merge the digital and the real worlds we know this is a lot to take in but don't worry about these concepts right now we're just scratching the surface today in our upcoming videos we'll dive deeper into ar vr and xr we'll explore how they work who makes them and even try few of them ourselves and we'd like to hear from you have you tried vr are you curious about ar drop your questions and experiences in the comments below and we might feature them in our next video and make sure to hit that subscribe button we will be bringing you more videos breaking down complex tech into simple and fun explanations until next time keep exploring stay curious bye bye